Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry back again with another Bulls review. Today I have the uh, Armies of Germany bolt action book as you can see here. Uh, it's from Osprey Publishing and Warlord Games. This is the uh, army book I guess for the the, the Germans. Um, you don't actually need this book to play uh, the game. The, the, the core book already has rules for the German army but this is a more in-depth look at the German army. Uh, there's more army list options, and uh, it's just a nice uh, reference book as well. There's the back cover, as you can see here. Um, it's it's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of history uh, history in the book. Uh, there's tons of different uh, art and pictures, and uh, I'm just going to run through it real quick uh, since we've seen books like this before from Osprey and uh, Warlord. And these are actually really well done. They're more uh, historical uh, um, equivalents. Uh, with some wargaming mixed in. So as I always say when I look at the, the models for this game, these are more historic war minis versus like a typical war game. So uh, on top of that, bolt action is pretty fun. So it's a good system. Uh, as you can see there, there's the contents. What's in the book? Tons of stuff. It goes over the German army of World War II. Um, it goes through the different army lists. So there's a ton of army list stuff. ton of army rules. Um, as you can see, just pages and pages. It's about uh, 96... Actually, maybe a little bit more than that. Now that I think about it. yeah, 96 pages. Um, so there you go. Um, full color, front and back. So really well done. I like the binding on it too. It's it's pretty well done. Um, solid book. Um, it got a little banged up when I when I got it home. So sorry about the corners and stuff. <laughs> it's not in mint condition anymore. Sorry. But uh, yeah, it's really well done. Um, it's it's like a magazine uh, uh, um, production value wise. So. As you can see here, a ton of art from different historical books and stuff like that. Uh, um, I, if you've ever put together or purchased historical minis, you know what I'm talking about. You recognize this, this style of artwork. It's a, it's a lot more uh, um, realistic, as it were. So there's, uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about if you've seen this before. So, uh, yeah, it's just, just a supplement, again, for the German army for World War II. Uh, tons of stuff in the book. Let's run through it real quick. So this goes through the history of the, the German army. Um, talks a, a little bit about the Blitzkrieg and stuff like that, and just their military doctrine and um, the fall of the Third Reich and stuff like that. So it also goes into a little bit of the Waffen SS. I like these little sections. Probably one of my favorite things about this book is it's they, they take real history and put it in the book. So if you're a history buff or just a, a amateur history buff like myself, uh, these are really cool to read and uh, just uh, um, just more interesting background. They have the um, the these pictures as well from historical painting guides and stuff like that. They talk about the different uh, military uniforms, the different painting styles. Again, if you're historical minis at all, you've seen these types of pictures before, and this book is chock full of them. And then um, we'll just get into the army list now. I'm not going to go through all of this uh, just because uh, it's it's really derivative of if you have the game then you probably get this if you don't have the game you probably want to pick up the core book before you get into all this um, so we'll go through a lot of this section briefly and it's a pretty big section so I'm just gonna run through again more of the historical art so again this book chock full, chock full of the pretty pretty art pretty um, awesome stuff here it's well done so it just goes through again uh, how to build out uh, infantry headquarters units for example it tells you all the costs of the units, the different costs if you want a um, second lieutenant all the way up to a, uh, a veteran major. And again, if you're familiar with the system, you know a second lieutenant that's a regular is going to be less than a veteran. Um, they get different benefits of being um, of veterans versus regulars as far as you know game mechanic wise stuff like that so then you can it goes through all the different options it can be accompanied by up to two more men that cost 10 points per minute at the regular or 13 points if they're veterans all the points are internally balanced and stuff like that too uh, medics um, goes through all that stuff infantry squads and teams uh, the core of your army as it were uh, here infantry squads are uh, com com composed excuse me if I could speak one NCO and four men and then you can add up to five men with rifles and then all the different options it's all points familiar wise if, if you're um, at all familiar with wargaming you know how this works it's all the point upgrade options the different squad compositions and everything like that so uh, you have all your little Panzerfausts and stuff like that all the different rifles uh, the MG42 MG or 35 stuff like that so the Hitler's bud saws it was <laughs> So, uh, just a ton of cool stuff, and it goes through Falsch Mager squads. Here's a cool late war one, Waffen SS. Uh, they're the elite of the uh, the army there, and it, it, yeah, it just runs through all the different options. Uh, it does have vehicles and anti-tank teams. Uh, so you've got your AA, 
you've got your your armor um, so just anti-armor anti-aircraft anti-material um, you've got artillery pieces as well so 37 flak right there this is the false Jaeger pack 40 so yeah it's got the Stug 3 assault gun um, yeah just all the crazy cool stuff there if you've never looked at the model line for um, for bolt action they have a ton of stuff <laughs> And it's getting better all the time. The model kits themselves are also really cool. Again, these are more like historical model kits versus a wargaming kit. So um, if you've seen, for instance, like a Games Workshop Rhino compared to a Tiger tank here, um, when you when you assemble and build some together, you can tell there's a lot, it's a lot different. So, uh, but yeah, they have all your Tigers, Tank Destroyers, all the big heavy German armor um, that, you know, did a ton of damage. Um, they also on their website they talk about converting stuff over too so that's a cool thing this game heavily supports that of all of the different um, variations that were used for instance uh, yeah the SDK FZ and it's like 20,000 different variants <laughs> so, yeah 7 to 1 and 7 to 2 with armored cab uh, the the 251 slash 17 I don't even know what those are I know that they're the same base chassis with all the different stuff it was a half track I recognize that was a the SDKF Z was a half track but um, they mounted all different types of armor and and armaments so it, they just changed up and the game fully supports that pretty much if it was used in World War II at all by by the Germans it was pro it's probably in this book um, so just a ton of ton of cool stuff um, for the the German army um, all the military stuff uh, we get into the theater selectors here which obviously the Germans fought on two fronts so it talks about that you can get into the Blitzkrieg part of it which was the September campaign from 39 to 42 um, how that worked that was this is the uh, um, tested out last month in Poland and then went west obviously and and then Battle of France how that all went Operation Barbarossa and then all the way up to Stalingrad on the eastern front. So we've got western and on eastern front stuff going on. You have North Africa campaign. Again, this is going to be Rommel's fun throwdown in the, in the sand, as it were. Uh, a lot of tank fighting, a lot of tank battles. Um, I'm sure everybody's heard of that or at least familiar with that, how that, how, how that works out. And then uh, Rommel's defeat at the Battle of El Alamein. Uh, so pretty crazy stuff going on there, all the different tanks. Um, I believe these also have basic lists that the um, that they actually may have had or may have used. So, for example, um, tanks, tank destroyers, assault guns, self-propelled artillery, and anti-craft vehicles. You take zero one vehicles from all of the, all of the different Panzers and stuff like that. Um, so, if you wanted to actually build out um, the uh, not the exact list per se, but for the battle, but a similar one. So uh, it goes through all that cool stuff. Um, again, the Eastern Front now, uh, just all of that anti-partisan security patrol. Uh, this is this is post-43, so this is um, 43 to 44. So it goes through the two different, or almost three different fronts at that point, but um, from the South as well. But um, yeah, we get into all that. Uh, we have the Eastern and the Western Front. Defense of the East, Defense of the West, the Atlantic Wall, Resistance, uh, Operation Normandy, um, all that. Fall of the Third Reich, 1945, the Rhine. So yeah, you get it. It's a pretty awesome book. If Again, if you're a histor historical guy or you're interested in that stuff, these sections right here, really cool to read. If you're looking for modeling or painting inspiration, this book has a ton of pictures to go through for that. Um, I really love all the different um, art that they used as far as like the uh, the soldier um, paint schemes and stuff like that, the uniforms, how they were painted. Uh, if you want to be historically accurate, you can go back through and um, actually paint how the soldiers look right there. So uh, it's pretty cool. Um, these are from the Osprey. That's where I recognize them from. Osprey Publishing, obviously, they do a lot of the historical stuff, so um, that's where they get these books, and they're highly detailed. I mean, uh, pretty pretty great work from their part. Um, even though maybe not everybody is a big fan of the German army <laughs> during that time, I can't imagine why. That's sarcasm, but um, 
yeah, at least they uh, they went through the book and, and did a pretty great job of, of trying to look at it through a historical lens of, of non-partisanships, <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh, yeah, so pretty good read. If, if Again, if you're just in historicals, great read. If you are looking at uh, building a German army for bolt action, you want to build it out, I definitely recommend this book. You're going to want it just for the different options, the different point values, and the different army lists that uh, you can create your force from. Um, bolt action is a great game. Uh, I've got a couple of games under my belt now. I'm really enjoying the mechanics. Um, and uh, yeah, can't say enough good things about this book. Again, from Warlord. Thanks again for watching. This is Adam here from Bolt signing off. Have a good one.